Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio. Seven Mile Radio. Yo, what up, though? What up, though? Peace, peace. Welcome to Go Real or Go Home. 60 minutes of what was, what is, and what will be. I am Kong Comedy. Y'all know me, K O N G, the big gorilla. I love the kids. Founder of Juneteenth Detroit. And food for thanks. Whatever. We just did a chili cook off. That shit was hype. Y'all love that. We had a good turnout. Thank you to all our chefs that came out for the first annual Fat Head February chili and cheesecake cook off, right? We had that at 90s Knowledge Cafe on 71 Oakman. She's always open to us doing community events there. Our lovely co-host, Lady K, how you doing? Hey, Kong, how you doing today? She ready. Nails, ready. nails blinging and, yes, and, and I keep flickering. Them. Mm. They, she keeps them. She keeps them. They're always there. They're hers. They're mine. Apparently, that matters in the nail world. It does. She don't glue her nails on every other no, day. She I don't know. take them off. So no. she has to keep them clean. <laughs> yes. And she has to keep them Somebody's done. Somebody's phone is up. It's not mine. Not, not mine, mine this time. Not mine. It might be mine. <laughs> so what's been going on? Hey, Mark. Uh, what's going on? Yes, hello, Mark. How, how are you doing, doing, sir? How you I'm doing, good, man? man? I'm good, yeah, I'm good. I'm feeling how good. How is it's the Juneteenth Polygon time. thing going on? Is, is uh, people... Yeah, we still signing up vendors. Got some, uh, some new members. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, for the audience. and okay. <coughs> Shit, excuse me. Everything's <laughs> moving. <laughs> Just the Quranic. Had the Quranic before yeah. I uh, started the show. Yeah, okay, the okay. It got caught up in the lungs. Yeah, the, yeah okay. still some smoke in there. Okay. But yeah, everything's good. Everything's going Forget on. Forget you. How that baby doing? He good. He is so I didn't want to bring the baby up because I didn't know if people knew. You know what I'm saying? That's it's all on social media. What, 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 I didn't know. Did I you see the baby pictures baby. next to each other? It was like Mark carried that baby and spit him out himself. I'm going to go look. I'm not convinced that I didn't. Uh, see? <laughs> that belly was kind of big. That's and, how I feel you know. about that little girl, man. man. Yeah, she looked like you spit he looked her more out. like me than me. I it's love great. it. Mm. They said that about Aaron, though, my the son. The best parts. They look yeah. the best parts. She made. She definitely made it cute. I'm interested to see what she do with the face when she become a teenager. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. See how that go. But today, uh, now mind you, we talked about the chili cook-off. And yes. we had winners of the yes. chili cook-off. We yes. had runners-up. I got full, cook-off. y'all. And that's all good. That's, that's <laughs> congratulations to y'all. If you won, hey, you knocked it out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But... Some of us had our own favorites. You know what I'm saying? We had our own favorites. We had what we liked. We had what we enjoyed. And Buddha Foods, that vegan gumbo, mm-hmm. we loved it. I loved it. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. It, we wasn't enough votes. It wasn't enough people ready for vegan. There's not enough people eating, putting the right stuff into their body. And then when you say vegan, they get scared. Yeah, people get that word. That, that is, mind. It, is, it, is it? What is it made is it out of? It's made out of everything you would have made except ain't no meat in it. That's right. You know and it was saying? over rice. Listen. It had a right, it had a bed of rice. I say yeah, bed of rice. I got that rice. from you. Yes, it's on a bed of rice. Right, you lay, so, your, you lay your you lay your salmon on a bed of rice. That's classy. With a with a, a forest now on you the side got of flavored broccoli. rice when it's over. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so <laughs> we got with us uh, the brothers who are partners in Buddha Foods, right? Yes. Because um, yes. that's how he said, "This is my brother. He my partner." Partners. partners. That's right. right. He wanted to make sure partners. But not in Buddha Foods. In other ventures. Ain't nothing like me. And sort of kind of. It's a collab. He said, "Dope." Dope. Dope beats and eats. Okay. Dope. Let him get his it's own like, sentence. And the bag was in. He was like, dope. <laughs> he was sick. You see dope. where your mind was right. at. He hey, went straight we, to the streets. Like, like, they both got on hoodies. Can you fellas introduce yourself for us? Uh, peace to the world. My name is Chef Buddha. Uh, I'm the vegan gumbo guy known around the, uh, the Midwest. Uh, I got my brother to the side of me around the midwest not just the city he said that's right he's they didn't travel they have traveled that's and right. been places we out here just a little something okay. you know what i'm saying and your okay name, sir marquise the professor okay 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 the, the actual professor yeah this guy has got knowledge and uh okay. a lot of things like you, okay. he's our go-to guy whenever gotcha. something come up okay especially dealing that. with music history we oh. need that. Yeah. He's low key. Really. a walking computer a little bit I got would some say, knowledge walking around up in here. He got some stuff going on. Okay, yeah. okay. On many, sense. just not just you know music, but yeah. Mm, the okay. brother gets very deep. so he's the professor. He was nicknamed the professor because mm. okay he get the professor and we be like, wow, I didn't even know that. Mm. Okay, so, yeah. okay. That's him. I, I, I can come up with like random facts. Um, so you're a reader, reader, and then I, I, I retain. I was to say he's a, a, a lot of a lot of information, okay. and stuff that uh, interests me. It's stuck. It sticks. I love it. Okay. Yeah. You do good on tests in school. 
Yeah. Being able to retain depends on the the subject. subject. He said stuff that interests me. He did say that. He like he hold did, on he, now. I have to be into it to right. understand that and keep it. That's facts. Too. I like that. That's okay. Cool. What's your favorite yeah. subject? History. Good Who's one. history? History period. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know. I like the way you put that. Who's? I heard that. Yeah. I like. I told him. I said, well, the guy I met at the uh, '90s. I said, this guy here is a. Uh, a revolutionary off rip I said I didn't have a conversation with him on but his energy was revolutionary that's what I told him outside the house mm-hmm. well I had to learn thank you for that brother I had I to could learn. be wrong no 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 I had to learn that in my stages of, of, of black consciousness that revolutionary don't only mean I keep a, a AK looking out the window for that's the right. you know oh, what that's I'm saying right. nah. it does not mean I have come it. to understand that what we do is revolutionary in the sense that we're choosing to do what others do not want to do mm-hmm. go the route they don't want to go mm-hmm. in order to get our people where we want them to be it's like consistent you know on a subject yeah so it. Buddha mm-hmm. Fools is revolutionary as well it's that's not, right it's not, a, it's, okay. not a, it's not a light title that's to facts. carry but whenever you decide to kick a dough down and ain't nobody waiting on the other side for your hands you're like I gotta fill this room up on my own that's some revolutionary. So how long right has there. Buddha been going on? How long has the title been oh, carried? Oh, Buddha Foods. Yeah, Buddha Foods has probably been established. I say about twenty twelve. Yeah. So it's about but 10, the, eleven years, 10, 11, 11 years. Eleven years. Okay. That's when I just congratulations. Uh, yeah, I put the name okay. out there because I was Millennium Catering back in the day. Mm. Uh, so I was going to ask you where forever. Buddha came from. Were you yeah. already? Were you? Like, was your diet along the lines of this already? Like, were you already a vegan or? Uh, yeah. Not when I first started into okay. the culinary business. I right, was. Right. Okay. okay. I was straight filet mignon. I was getting it in. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. So but what, then, uh. What switched off? What made you? Oh, uh, well, We finna go down a little rabbit hole. Let's go. That's what you hear. Go real or go home. That's what we here for. So, uh, many years ago, I got a hold of a VHA step. VHA VH, see how long ago that was? A, a VHS. VHS. A, a, a VHS tape. tape. Yeah. VHS. Okay, okay, okay. I know about those. I had them too. I still right. got some. Okay. And it, it was on there was a, a brother by the name of Dr. Kwaku Ando. He was world leading ethnobotanist at the time. Mm-hmm. Back in, Kwaku uh, Ando. Dr. Mm-hmm. Kwaku. Okay. Anthony Kwaku Ando. Mm-hmm. Anthony Kwaku Ando. Okay. Yeah, so he, uh, like, he knew everything about plants. He even spoke, mm-hmm. plants spoke to him. He spoke to plants. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a lot of products out. Uh, not only was he. Led no botanist, he was a shaman too from uh, Ghana. Okay. There we go. So okay. he, uh, he's all about the earth. and he was a shaman in Ifa too. Mm. There so we go. Yoruba. So not only did he live off of, he breathed. Uh, earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I love it. Okay. His brother had uh, real magic going on. So okay. uh, saw the tape. The tape was called Cosmic Prophecy. Mm-hmm. Basically, talk about everything that we're going through today. Mm-hmm. It's crazy when I see stuff on TV or I see things that spoke of that be happening. I'm like, damn, this would. Ando was talking about okay. 20 hmm. something years ago okay. yep so yeah uh, <clears throat> we end up uh, really you know getting in tune we, we received a prophecy so me and a couple friends uh, my brother we used to solo rest in peace his uh, wife mama Medea uh, not Medea <laughs> but uh, we went and met the brother in Atlanta mm-hmm. and from there uh, you went and met the doctor in Atlanta yeah we okay now what was he there for he had a school okay Called uh, Alamantina One World Healing Center. You said had no longer exist. No. Okay. Uh, he's passed on. Oh, okay. To the ancestors. Yeah. So. Well, rest in peace to him as well. Yeah, but it was it was a dope experience, you know. Okay. Meeting him, uh, cause he originally was in San Francisco, mm-hmm. so we were planning to go there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then when we reached out to find out, you know, if we can come, they's like, well, he's moving to Atlanta in like three, three months. Okay. So we waited, and uh, that him. was a quicker drive. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah, was eating definitely. vegetarian stuff down there, hugging trees, talking to plants. <laughs> I love it. I love Becoming it. Becoming one with the earth. Yeah, uh-huh. understanding right. what to eat and what yes. not to eat. Because yes. this was before Y2K. Mm-hmm. Okay. So the whole goal was living off the land. Mm-hmm. And by us yes, being... I, I remember yeah, that, that movie. Y2K yes. started that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it started. It was. Yeah. So definitely. we like, we live on, but we know Belle Isle, that's a lot of tropical stuff. We right. So we was learning what to eat, what not to eat, okay. and all that. So that's from the whole vegetarian lifestyle. Mm. And from there, I realized that, you know, we were sick as hell, man. The stuff that we eat and the stuff that's, like, it's like a, a evil type of vibe. Like, we fighting a monster. I swear it is. It's a demon. It's a, it's a when it demon comes to food. With food, it is. Everything is 99 cent. Everything is shimmery and I've seen a box colorful. of bacon for 99 cent. Yeah. 
It was in a box. Easy. It wasn't even in a cooler. You talking about those ones that's in the box hanging. on the shelf? It's oh, hanging horrible. on the shelf, horrible. right? It's already cooked, I guess. It's in the box. It's like eight strips oh, of bacon for a dollar. They sitting right next to Might the bread. Might be two for a dollar if you hit the right space. You feel me? Okay. I'm like, so, damn. Okay. That's where we oh, at, you know. Okay. So, that's right. Okay. So I decided, you know, being a chef and cooking for myself, uh, be a lot of spots and it ain't nothing to eat. And then when I started catering a lot and doing a lot of events, I, I bring the whole vegan vibe. I love it. Because there's a lot of us, and then everybody eat vegetables. I think this is before the term vegan was even out, so mm-hmm. I think vegan makes people think it's something manufactured. Tofu okay. or alternate meat. Yeah, they think of alternate mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a meatish. It's yeah, just it's a chicken word for vegetarian. You don't put no, don't put so no now, tofu I wanna try, in front of me. I want to try. Have you, have you made this thing called a cabbage steak? Not yet. Yeah, I have. Or, yeah. or I steaks have. out of mushrooms. Or, I like or a, a cauliflower. Mushroom. Cauliflower steak. Yeah. And cabbage steak, definitely. Oh, I haven't had one of those yet. I want to try it. I love mushrooms. It's like the fried chicken that they make this on the easy. stick of wood and wrap the mushroom around it. and, mm, that's and fry. What is the, yeah, I guess it's, yeah. Mushrooms are out of control. I love them, though. Gotta just be careful. Oh, that's how they make it. They, 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 they fried chicken. chicken. Yeah, they yeah, wrap yeah, the mushroom yeah. around a wood that. stick. I, I've learned, oh I've, I know certain <laughs> levels of it, but when you say uh, you have to be careful with it, especially with cooking and eating it, um, what is what is the problem? I know that we can take so much fungus in the human exactly. body, but... It's not good for the intestinal tract. So if somebody's on a heavy mushroom diet, always eating mushrooms, you got to realize there might be a, a buildup of fungus or bacteria, you know, in the lower mm. abdomen, right? Because mushrooms grow on poop. Mm, well, I be doggone. Y'all heard it here. Go real or go home. Wow. That's what, that's what I got out of that. Okay. That's so, what I got out of that. You wow. fuck around be growing mushrooms in your stomach. So you got it all up. Damn. You mushroom yeah. walk. Mushroom belly. Wow. Uh, it's not a muffin top. It's a mushroom top. So I'm on Mush- a diet. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, Mr. Booty. So, Moving, moving on, you brought you brought your, your brothers here with us. You know what I'm saying? This the is professor my, is here. Professor is my my man. We go back 20 before we even before I had children. He's all ever since I met him. He had he had children. Okay, okay, okay. So now, when it comes mm-hmm. to the business aspect of your brother, mm-hmm. where where would you like to give his roses now? When it comes to you guys as in business, what where, where did he help you out at? Or you guys work together? That was a good way to say that. We work Thank very you. very Thank well you. together. He's a uh, uh-huh. Probably the most professional, uh, personal friend I know. Okay. Because we have uh, those, and we have the ones that you know you only can take them to the backyard. Take them. Yeah, yeah. You can't take okay, them. so he's your professional friend. So y'all yeah. got to go anywhere together. He's a uh, he's a mover and shaker. He's like very talented. Every job he got, he's the boss. Okay. Uh, okay. He just told me, when you coming from Monroe. Yeah. I, yeah. Right now. Um, right now. Yeah, so. so what do you? What, what? Well, I know you probably have carry many hats. Um, outside of this business here give us an example of what you do professor what's going on with you well what i do for a living i'm i'm um i'm a field service maintenance tech field service maintenance tech is that like yeah. shocking corn <laughs> yeah i'm like what you out there doing telling everybody no, don't do nothing nothing what you no uh, all right so um <laughs> my company deals with uh, uh cryogenic gases so hold on Cry- Quiet. cryogenic uh-huh Gases. The cold stuff you freeze and shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, See, I look got at that. you. No, no, no. Look at you. no, no, no. Wesley smart. Snipes, Sylvester Stallone, uh-huh. Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. Most of my knowledge comes from movies. Okay, okay, no, okay. So I'm listening. We're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So the gases I deal with, some of the coldest stuff I deal with um, nitrogen, um, hydrogen. Wow. Um, you, you was a kid with cool science projects, wasn't you, for the school He at least fair. paid attention when he was he in He did, class. yeah. You was in there making I remember bombs freezing a balloon. We put a balloon <laughs> in some smoky coal shit. You know what that, I'm saying? That was probably nitrogen. Then. Yeah, and then I we smashed it. the balloon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so I put a girl's this, this is what you do. You went to school for this, of course, right? Um, I went to training. Okay. They, they, you have to, you have to uh, uh, go to training um, in order to just work on... On the tanks. Okay. okay. So, uh, give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Uh, most of the hospitals, they'll have one or two, probably two big white tanks mm-hmm. somewhere in the back of the hospital. I've mm-hmm. seen them. Mm-hmm. You've seen them. Mm-hmm. Those are. They ice- had a little sticker at the bottom down there, and there'd be three of them: be one green one, one black one, and one red one. I, I'm yeah, I, I'm here. Okay, I'm listening. All right. So those are oxygen tanks. Mm-hmm. And. My company um, sends trucks 
to load those tanks up, fill those tanks. Up. And that is some, like, for example, when a patient is in the hospital and they're either getting oxygen. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. So what's in those tanks is, is liquid oxygen. Okay. And it goes through a process to turn into gas. Mm. Now, once those drivers drive away, that that whole system is, is my responsibility. To make sure it's checked, it's, everything valves is clear. Well, if anything goes wrong with it, I'm the one they call. In, okay. In um, Northern Wayne County, Southern Oakland, Southern Macomb. Look at the brother. Nice. Look at the brother. You know How long you been doing this? Uh, three years now. Dang. Okay. And it's it's something, it's something. Uh, Not being um, funny. Normally you see the Caucasians be out there. You know what I'm but I'm good to hear it. Find out that there's a brother be out there doing that. It, I love it, it. It's something. No prejudice. See? It's just I'm glad we got one. That's so interesting to me. Like uh, uh, hydrogen. Hydrogen runs at a negative 423 degrees. That's how cold it is in the tank? That's how cold uh, liquid hydrogen is. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Now, to give you, um, to give you an example, absolute zero. Absolute zero is a, a term. In the coldest environment in the laboratory, the coldest they can absolutely get it to on this planet is negative um, 457 degrees. And hydrogen is negative four, 423 degrees. And are we talking at that point, we're talking about shattering into little bitty pieces if it's like... I mean, if, if anything touches... It's going to straight freeze mode. Right. Wow. Mm. Uh, it's, it's so cold. Um, in hydrogen uh, systems, you can only use stainless steel uh, material, pipes, whatever. Mm. Oh, okay. I've seen those. It's a cold pipe. It's a hot pipe running over your head. Right. But you're saying that's the only thing that can even house it is stainless steel pipes. Every other yeah. system we use besides helium every other system we use we can use copper for some of the piping mm. but hydrogen is so cold you can only use uh, stainless steel mm -hmm. and once you ever see uh, liquid hydrogen go through the pipes it gets so cold you you you've seen the pipes frost. you've seen on the pipes. outside the frost mm -hmm. on the outside yeah you've seen pipes condensate and everything yeah. right it gets so cold around the pipes liquid hydrogen is so cold that it liquefies the air around the pipes and you look at these pipes and they look like uh, water is just running off of them but it's not that's actually liquid air it's so cold it's catching the air and turning it into water turning it turning <laughs> it in, turning uh, it into liquid okay right. so all this brain you got going on here and um mm. i applaud you there now how you go off into food <laughs> food yeah. i mean there's a lot of um there's a lot of uh, uh processes that use um oh yeah nitrogen okay um people like CO2. him turned corn into gas Mm. You know CO2 what I'm and found out we could run cars I with like corn. That. Yeah. That's, uh, that's people like okay. that's what they did. Your weed? Yeah. There are there are dozens of warehouses in this area that's growing weed right now. Mm. And they use CO2 as uh, um air for the plants. Mm -hmm. It 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 CO2 allows those plants to grow at a, a faster rate. Is that right? Than just uh Growing it in your backyard. Right. It's manufactured. They don't wait on the air. They make the air. Well, I mean, I, I just, I wondered how it is. You got to create your space. I, I wondered how it just kept developing so quickly and now it's just so vastly available. Carbon yeah, dioxide. Carbon dioxide is like air to plants. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so Buddha, you took that brain and how did you guys collaborate? What what makes it work with you two brains together. I see you guys are, are those who continue to learn, to continue to grow. So what where is the connection at when it comes to this delicious this, food that you guys this prepare? This is what we call dope beats and eats. So our both of us are both musical, like we love music. Okay. Our I got a totally different yeah, it's two different personalities mm. for love for music, uh, but at the same time we seven these babies. Okay. And then you bring in the professor and you bring in the chef, so 
got no what? beats. We got beats. What year did we meet? Uh, <coughs> uh, my son was born that year. 94? So I think I met you in 95. 94? Had to be. Okay. Is he the one who gave you the grandbaby? No, my daughter. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, he, he been man. posting pictures of that baby. Now. I just oh, told my son, like, I got I got to go see Winner tomorrow. He's like, oh, okay. Winner. That's yeah, Winner, winner. my little baby. Yeah, that's okay. a Michigan name. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Her, 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 her attitude is going to be all over the place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Well, we we definitely glad you here. Uh, we definitely glad you brought a whole stove with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we we go. Gumbo. Yes, we're going to get into that once once that heats up. And in the meantime, we're going to uh, talk about some of the things we got coming up. Uh, we have officially started. This is the push for Juneteenth, and we started this podcast for Juneteenth. The home of it. Yes, yeah, Seven Mile Radio is the home of all things Juneteenth, right? We are on our 13th annual year celebrating this long before yes. it became a federal holiday. We're happy that it's a federal holiday, and now this will be the second year mm -hmm. that our people in the community can take the day off work if they choose to. You know right. what I'm saying? If your job is not acknowledging that, then you need to get on that, especially if they acknowledge all the other holidays. You know what I'm saying? So the first flyer we're going to put up, Mark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the is the Juneteenth? We gonna put the Juneteenth uh, essay gonna, flyer up. We starting this right now, thanks to the Dearborn Library yes. Foundation. Yes. Um, we have starting the Juneteenth essay contest. The grand prize is a thousand dollars. There will be a runner up. Mm -hmm. uh, this money is real. Y'all see Dearborn Library Foundation on there, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 mess, they ain't even want nobody else logo on there. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how you know. The money is in the bag. You know it's what I'm there. saying? So please um, believe in your children, mm -hmm. right? It's less than a thousand words. Believe in your children. Do the research with them and let them put their understanding to paper. You know what I'm saying? Allow those who get to read these essays to choose whether or not or what it's going to be. Because last year we had parents say when we did the, the art call, oh, well, my baby don't paint all like that. You know what I'm saying? It's like let them paint. And then let the judges judge. You That's know what I'm right. saying? And then last year, the judges were going to be their peers. The parents are so worried about who's going to be judging. But other children picked who won. And they don't even you know, know that little baby might be doing some. Hey, you so feel like me? That's the best way. way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like the that. essay contest, uh, you know, is, a, is a going to be a runner-up. The, the limit, the deadline is April 24th. Mm -hmm. So they need a thousand words. Uh, that's got to be like a page. You feel me? A good mm -hmm. page, page and a half, mm -hmm. if that. So uh, let your teens, your young people, let them put these essays, let them turn in all Wayne County students yes. um, from ages, you know, eight to 18. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Let's let's put these babies to work. Juneteenth is coming. We do not just celebrate Juneteenth the day of. That's why we have these type of things in place, mm -hmm. because Juneteenth is something we want to celebrate as the as it as it gets here. We got to prepare for it. So we want to lift up our young people. And that's going to be one of the ways we doing that. So. Again, uh, check out our pages, Juneteenth Detroit Festival, Juneteenth Detroit, Juneteenth in Detroit. Mm -hmm. All those pages end up, you know, talking to one of us, you know. So uh, we're looking for vendors and, you know, performers, all that, all good, that stuff. good stuff. Yes. Our, so far, uh, we have June 19th, which is the Monday of. It's on a Monday. We do yes, not change when we celebrate Juneteenth, right? A lot of mm -hmm. people are going to be doing it out of... The convenience is going to be a really busy weekend. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And then Monday, a mighty few of us will still be acknowledging our holiday. You know what I'm saying? So on June 19th, we will have our family day and our parade. And on June 17th, we're having our cultural fashion show at Nandi's uh, Knowledge Cafe. So Nandi's Knowledge Museum, it's much bigger now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we definitely want you all to get ready for that and come out. RBG dollars are available, right? We are going to come out with a list of our vendors and sponsors. Buddha Fools would be one of them. Let's talk about what RBG dollars are, right? Mm -hmm. So, Mark is at an event like the Chili Cook-Off, and you're there. Say we're selling everything, right? Mark buys something from you the first time, and you give him two RBG dollars, our own little money, right, for Juneteenth. Now, if Mark goes to any other the vendors that we support, any other sponsors, whether it be an oil shop, a pizza place, if they support us, like Golden Wings on Greenfield right now, or Fees Eatery, River, yes, Fees Eatery, they have RBG dollars. Golden Wings went as far as creating a combo that you could get with RBG dollars. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And that's what we want that to turn into. We have a deal with our vendors and our sponsors, right? We want you to support our event, but when it's over, we want you to know 
that supporting it did something. You're going to see that come back to you. So we're going to leave you with a stack of these, right? And over the next however many days, weeks, months, people are going to be coming in saying, you know, can I get my RBG dollars with my order, right? You don't just give them to everybody. We don't want to end up with a million of these out there. They literally have to ask for them. And that's how you as a business owner know, like, oh, yeah, going to that meant something. You know what I'm saying? So now if we've given you 100 of those, two months later, you don't, three months later, you don't have any more. Then you know for a fact, staying, you know, being with us that weekend, standing in the sun, it, it has done something for you. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we want. And we want our people to understand that you have to rock with those that rock with you. Juneteenth is about to be a competition now with some people. It's going to be all over the place. People are doing it. And that's great. But in the meantime, we want to stay true to what we've been creating, which is the Juneteenth community. And in that community, we have the residents and we have the business owners. And we need them to constantly bounce off of each other. You know what I'm saying? And that's our goal. So... Um, we don't. I don't know if we're gonna have another fundraiser between now and then, but we are in our planning stages. We hope Buddha Foods are with us, you know, at one of those events, probably the family day, because we're gonna have another cook off, but it's gonna be barbecue focused, you know. So I don't really know how we can get that in there, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But if you want to be there, you know, you're more than welcome to be there. He oh. gonna he gonna start learning how to do those cabbage steaks. Oh yeah, yeah, off the grill, and yeah. then he gonna be in there, and then gonna be taste, over there saying, "I want the vegan food to win again." I like that. I've seen a uh, what looks like pulled pork mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or pulled chicken. Was I've it had jack it, but it's, but it's, it's actually eggplant. jackfruit. Jackfruit. And eggplant. eggplant. I've seen it with. Uh, I haven't seen it with eggplant. No, I, okay. I've seen it with uh, uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms. Okay. Yep. Uh, I'm up on it. I'm up on it. Do it. Do it. Do yes. it. And yeah. then they won't even know. They you won't. feel me? They won't even know. Go ahead, try it. Try Listen, it. Taste it. I'm gonna be Especially honest with you. With when I when I had your food at the chili cook off, meat the first time. I was told that you were a vegan cooker, but it didn't download. So right. when I ate it, and then it was said to me like, again, it was vegan? yeah, and I was like, what? What is it supposed to mean anyway? You know but what I'm saying? I mean, but, but that title makes I'm us just think and feel some type of way, man. Because or just vegetable. Don't no. I have to stop saying competition. I mean, I don't like the word competition. Vegan. You know what I'm saying? It's weird. Well, and I then when you're competing with something, mm -hmm. and it's vegans and non-vegans or vegetarians. Yeah. Remember we said we got to stop saying. So why people. not, right? But why not, why not hyphenate it to cost the bank, the, the board with it? Because vegan, today, vegetarian. Yeah, we do that. Vegan, Whenever vegetarian. I do my billboards. Yeah, always, vegan, okay, vegetarian. Okay. Just to make because sure. Because a lot of people will be like, what's vegan? And it's like. How okay, so tell us right now, like, what's the, what's the. Vegan vegetarian, right? What's the, What's difference? the, difference, What's the difference specifically between a pot of vegetarian food and a pot of vegan food? What is the I don't difference? Think anything is a difference. Like okay, so the nice. only thing that could be different is that it might be some beefish, what or some chickenish here, in there. Here's, you know here's what the difference. Here's, here's the difference. Yeah, because right? it'd be chicken-like. You know what I'm saying? Now. I'm like, who is that? His phone is working with the feds. Hey, my phone, my phone be listening to my conversation. I ain't gonna lie. Said, my um, my my side phone does the same thing. Talking. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. you work with the people too. <laughs> you know All my phone phones. be doing that little phone. Like, <laughs> All our phones work. Cointel Pro, man. All right, so in here's here's what I learned: the difference between vegetarian and vegan. Okay, okay. Now, what's gonna be what's the veg thing? vegetarian? The things that the, uh, a vegetarian might eat, uh, uh, say cabbage. Okay. Um, might be cooked in uh, chicken broth or something like that. Mm. I get what you're saying. Nope. I'm on that's, with I've, that. I've come across that, people that's like this. But yes. vegans, vegans don't, don't want. No, but see, that's old school. No animal yeah. that's by right. product whatsoever. Because I came across a gentleman. So, uh, you know those little flat surface um, griddles that you can cook off of? Yeah. I had made some. I had did the bacon on there first. And then you know those square hash browns. Oh yeah. I did the hash browns on top of that same flat surface. So when he came over, I offered him breakfast, and he said, "No, I'm." I think he used the word vegan or one of the two. Okay. And I said, "Oh well, I do have the side items. You're more than welcome to." And he ate the hash brown, the grits, and the eggs. And about two minutes after he ate, his head started hurting. Mm -hmm. He said, "How did you prepare your food?" And I was looking him in the kitchen, and I showed him. He said, "The grease off that pork." mess with me i catch oh, headaches so instantly too. so whichever one it is so would that be a vegan or is that a vegetarian that he is well he both because he, he didn't he, he ate he ate eggs he ate the eggs right see but oh, a, a wow. vegan wouldn't eat uh eggs i don't so, think a vegetarian would eat eggs either though not a real one. Not, 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 it's, it's, you know, you I know, thought it you was know, weird too. how serious i you thought are. it was weird yeah. because the egg come even though the egg wasn't 
the uh, egg of fried chicken, it was still coming from it. So that's what it's a byproduct of an animal. Yeah. So so the person that deals with the byproduct of an animal would be considered a vegan or yeah. a vegetarian. A uh, vegan, a vegetarian, a vegetarian. So a mm. vegan is a person that don't even want to touch it, don't want to bite it. They don't want nothing that they ever had a nothing. heartbeat. Okay, so, so that so that makes sense. It is a it is a difference thing. But let me wow. tell you something though. While we have their attention, because there's a couple vegans already watching, they already listen. And some vegetarians. Like, I am. Oh, I, I listen. The new the new the new era. Okay. Of vegans. Mm-hmm. It's like the new era of other communities we got out here. Okay. They want it, but they don't want it. Okay. They want it to look like if they don't really want it because. We talking rice patties back in the day. You feel me? Rice cakes. Yeah. And so what? These the, the, the old school vegetarians, they wasn't touching these things. They make my make my food look like a steak. Yeah. Make my food smell like chicken. Mm. That's not. What is you doing? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like That's we talking the purpose. Really. Yes, yeah, really yes. You trying to really psych is. your mind, low key. You really wish you had a drumstick, like you said. You didn't wrap a mushroom around a friable it is chicken a bone. piece of wood. Yeah. But it, it is serious. Like you remember, remember when the Impossible Whopper came out? I love that. Burger. Okay, so Trash. everybody laugh at me because I always add bacon. Damn, what? I make it possible. Burger? I make my well, impossible but he burger. Not, but he, you know, possible. but she not on that tip though. So listen, I'm in the I'm in the restaurant this day. I go inside, and it's a gentleman out there. And his question was, was do you make that burger on the same griddle as you make the other whoppers? And the guy in the back stood there and looked at him. He said, "Man, listen, if it ain't all the way impossible, I don't want it." Oh. And he right. walked out the door, you well, know, and I and I make it makes sense because if you don't want it touching anybody, like you said, byproduct, you don't want your impossible. That's like that's like Remember a person, the Jewish like people serious a, about that. Remember, they won't even let you cook in a kitchen that's got pots and pans that was once exactly. used. Mm-hmm. In, you, they, you like a person that's allergic like, to like, fish, if you fry their chicken, you can't do that. They grease, you can't yeah, mix that grease. Yeah, because I, I dated a gentleman before, and I had to have two different grease buckets. The ones that I did my fish in or my shrimp, I kept it totally away, and I had to even use a different skillet because you know skillets, them old cast irons. It takes the seasoning in, oh, yeah. so Cast you know I, I still got me one. Sure, what you talking yeah. about? That's what no, my everybody made in there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not everybody. These little young helpers. I don't know. They I little plastic one. little things that break it. Th- Best Anyhow, bread ever. Yeah. It's it's the only way, especially for your dressing. How else you gonna do it? So anyhow, um, what is a one of you guys' special um, dishes that you guys prepare for you guys' um, customers? Yeah, because he's been posting like crazy. Like I can't. Yeah, what is one of the favorites? Uh, the gumbo is like my signature dish. It was like good, line, man. That was yeah. so good. Yeah, I can. Uh, I sell that all day, every day. Okay. Like it's literally a winner. Mm. And a lot of stuff I do just on a personal level, like catering and stuff like that. People can request what they want. Talk about your business. How how wide are you? Do you have a building? Or are you in a truck? Um, are you delivering? Uh, we own that really hard right now. I, I have to do a walkthrough to a space. In two weeks. Okay. Like Congratulations. I got email yesterday. Yep. Okay. And then also we got uh, quite a few leads on the uh, mobile food trailer. Mm, okay. Yeah. And uh, now you can do with DoorDash. I've seen you cooking though, and, and like stirring and whole pans and stuff. So you got you know the you, you so got the big boy yeah, and grandma pans. Pie. It goes down. Yeah, I'm also the personal chef for a Catholic organization too. Oh, so I do have a nine okay. to five. So okay, if y'all see okay. me in the kitchen space. That's what you're doing. That one. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you cooking all day, eat, every day, yes. huh? Yeah. It's a it's a life. Now, do you have it's your business connected with DoorDash? Chef is life. No. Because I just basically just do catering. I'm, I'm not like a full fledged. I see what you're once saying. Once I leave work, everything else. Once I get a catering gig or somebody book me, okay. I'll send you the invoice. So you and come to birthday parties and things of that nature, and you cater weddings. Yeah. So so that's a different kitchen that I cater out of, which is at Mary Grove. College. Okay. So Merry go whenever, yeah, whenever. So you got like a commercial something. kitchen. It's commercial. Wow. Now see, now see, this is what I said. I mean, we had this conversation where I low key said the rules really are yes. you're supposed to cook food you sell, not in your house. That's you know right. what I'm saying? Oh, but yeah. we in the hood, we do our thing, we trust our chefs. But when you get to that next level, you have to be in the kitchen specifically for you to be a you know what I'm saying? Even so, a qualified. Yeah. Certain people I know some know people who have doing. apartments that's right. and that apartment is for them to cook and that's it and they mm-hmm. approve you know what I'm saying like that's all they do that kitchen yeah, they don't live that. there they, they don't just, live yep. there you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. but they had to be like oh this is my business home or my business mm-hmm. space or something like that just so gotta have certain uh, okay certain standards well congratulations certain- yeah. on that move you know right. yeah, yeah a lot of things this is their year I think uh, okay. That matters to the people who know those things too. Yeah. The people nah. who know that that's how it's supposed to be. Right. When they hear him say that, that mm-hmm. matters to them. Oh, yeah. That definitely. they know they're doing that. You know, not, not only that, but uh, prospective clients hear him talk. 
Yeah, that's so, yeah, yeah you know, that's what I'm talking about. A, a yeah. lot of people, uh, yeah. Where do you prepare your food? Uh, mm-hmm. You know, in, in the back kitchen mm-hmm. or, or the right. kitchen. Right. Because when you say Mary Grove the College, because when you say Mary Grove College, you know for a fact. There was a couple of different meetings, a couple of different contracts, a couple of different. Oh, yeah. It was business on the floor before you. It's gonna be the clean kitchen. when he got there. It's gonna you be know, clean so when you know leave. it's business behind. There's multiple his entrepreneurs out of that kitchen too. The kitchen. Is I can huge. believe it. I can believe and it. And I just got that plug. Because doesn't out. doesn't that college have a cooking program or something like that? Mary Grove College. I can't answer that. But I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. they do. I just know the kitchen space now. Because I hear that name when I deal with a lot of chefs talking. I, I think they college. do got a good culinary program. Yeah, if I, I yeah. remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. I was okay. in culinary class once. I learned how to make, I don't know, lobster bisque. Oh. I learned how to make lobster bisque. I was in culinary class lobster for like six months. Bisque. Yes, yes. When we got done, we fed the warden and his entire staff. <laughs> I knew it was something to it. I, I, bow. I knew it. I knew it was something to it. We did, but you, you had to learn how to cook. You had to learn how to cook. You know what I'm saying? You had to go to the class, pass the class. The brother was coming from out in the streets just like you. He had a restaurant. You know what I'm saying? And he was coming to teach us how to cook. You feel Shout me? out to all we those. We learned how to cook. I learned how to make lobster bisque. You oh feel God. me? It's it was delicious. Out here, man. Shout out saying? to everybody watching live. I and see y'all fed, on there. Thank we y'all. Fed the staff. We, and then we got a good Thanksgiving dinner. I'm, we had not, to I'm, I'm not even about to... Ing- I ain't had to eat that shit in the child hall. Mm-mm. Mm. That was mm. nice. Wait, but, so, so please tell me, what was in this lobster bisque? I can't remember how to make that shit. Was lobster in it? Absolutely. I just wanted to know. He I mean, ain't bring no shells, though, because obviously we could have used those as weapons. My wet, my ribs hurt. Yeah, Anyhow. The seals um, <laughs> had to crack our lobsters for us and take all the claws. Because those are weapons. They definitely would have been a weapon. Oh. I could put an eye out with a lobster claw right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It takes me back. It's really the motions. It's Crabs the mo- and lobsters ain't nothing to play around with. Oh, oh man. You, know you put it Listen, out. I have literally, like, li- I have um, a slit right here opening mm. up some crab legs. I why, literally. While you're discussing all of this, uh, I'm sitting up here thinking in my head different ways of using it. <laughs> yes. Soft tissue, brother. Go for the soft tissue, right? We're talking necks, eyes. What was that movie? Ears. Law Biden Citizen. Did y'all see that? No. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Well, he was in the joint that. doing all the dirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my knowledge from Oh my god! And he took the T-bone and mm-hmm. killed my man. Oh, yeah. With the T-bone, I can see that. You know yes. damn well you don't get no psychopath, no bone. <laughs> you know, that, the, the, if MDOC been stopped giving them bone in chicken, right? They wish they would. And then when they do give you a leg and a thigh, better be a better be a carcass on that plate when you come up here. I'm wondering is that where chicken tenders came from? <laughs> <laughs> it's the safe meat. It's the safe white meat. Prison. <laughs> he said it like don't no yes listen you know, let's talk let's, about let me listen, order a let's shank, talk about shankless it chicken. I am watching someone right yeah. now put a put an ice cream truck together right and she says this is what I'm gonna sell on an ice cream truck and I looked at it and it's like that's a prison cooker you know what I'm saying like yeah. I know that's where that came from but she's like oh I'm gonna put it in cups yeah we put it in boxes and shoe boxes and shit but that's that's a prison cookup. That's nothing but she chili. That's with that. re- oh, she's going to. They're delicious. Yeah. Are you serious? Oh I want God. one right now. Yeah. Oh my God. She layered it up. You feel me? So you got to magic, magic. There's something else that came from the joint. And everybody well, gonna she know. She got a prison parfait. In anything prison you see, parfait. anything you see on TV where they putting those hot Cheetos on it, prison shit. You yeah. feel me? That literally, we it came from prison. Somebody, I don't know, you know, white people go to prison. They got different mamas and daddies. You feel me? Mm-hmm. You come back, your mama is an executive over here. Some word, get out. You done made her a burrito. Now she back at the office eating a fucking burrito. And I'm sitting here watching Taco Bell put motherfucking flaming hot Cheetos on. We do, that's what we do. You know what I'm saying? That's how we made it taste like something. Why would you need that in the world? That shit you feel coming me? up. It's coming up. Yes, in the it world. is. Crunchy as hell. Spicy to the I world. seen them grind it all up and then batter something with it. <gasps> you feel me? I did see that. Because on that's Instagram. what happens when they call they it some kind of cook up croquette. They call it a cook up croquette. I seen it. Listen, when you cook-up. see these cups, she got the <laughs> she got your choice of meat at the bottom. <laughs> then she got the cheese on that. Then she got the chili on top of that. Then she got the crushed up shit on top of that. Then she made it pretty and shit. Yeah. No, Five dollars. But no, it's bro. It's a scoop of this, a scoop of that. What about the one where they said, forget anything. We're going to just open up the Dorito bag on the side. Not the free And we're going to go. Uh. You know they, call those, they call those in the world. They call them walking tacos. All right. 
in the joint, they've been prison burritos since my daddy was locked up. Since you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 They got food in that chip bag. You know chili cheese uh, Fritos with the uh, chili on top. But, yeah. but, but you know what? Yeah, it's a walking I'm taco. not mad at it's it, though. It's a prison cooker. I'm not mad at it. at it because you got people out here that really came in a household that they did not know how to cook anything. So I'm glad the knowledge is spread. This food is good as hell. I'm not mad people at it. People don't like that it's ugly. I'm not mad You know what I'm saying? They don't like it's ugly or they don't like the grease. But I couldn't wait to come home and I'm like, if this is satisfying, in this cheap ass way here, being able to use real ingredients, real mm. cheese, real so marinated meats, that's going to taste up. good. You it feel was me? so delicious. The and I, I haven't the been nachos there. Nachos now, Taco Bell wish they would. Listen, my right. first cook up. Uh, listen, I didn't go there to get it. Mm-hmm. I was on a date. You know, he's like, baby, I'm gonna cook for you. I'm like, okay. Mm-hmm. Listen, that damn burrito was so damn Did delicious. Did you turn the stove on? No, there was. I don't no need stove. no damn stove. It wasn't nothing going on. I, I don't I need didn't no stove to feed you a cook up. <laughs> no you know, he talked to me and everything. I think he was still like fresh out because he still had the cut going on. Yeah, so, you know, swole. I was like, woo. I was yeah. like, woo. Man, he brought that bad boy. I was like, now, see, that's how she going to win because in the ice cream chip, she's innocent. not going to need I'm not mad no at her. griddle. Are we you talking about baby girl? All you need is a microwave. So I love her. You're you talking best. to somebody who used to have an ice cream, cream truck. Mm-hmm. Did you know? Yeah. And, okay. And we rock with ice cream I'm going to tell you. Watch the ice cream truck you 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 eat from. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna point out certain ethnic groups mm-hmm. that have their have their ice cream trucks. You don't gotta point them yeah, out. We, we know the know ethnic what groups that got ice cream about, trucks. Brother. First of all, <laughs> let me stop you right here. Well, let I me am. let me just let me just stop you right here and say this. Lacey I'm quick. not buying no food <gasps> off of one of them ice cream trucks. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. No. Now, if they come no. through with the with the halal, Listen. you know what I'm saying? Then I'm with you, I but you ain't going to sell me no chili cheese I learned fries. with the cheese. I got me some um, nachos. Squeeze cheese? Yeah, from it's the, gotta the ice cream. It's got to be sliced. It's got to be sliced. I'm saying I I, see it, it was an ice cream wrapper. truck that rolled down the street that was offering hot dogs, oh. this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. And I got me some nachos. Right. Mm-hmm. And I promise you, in the because I'm lactose intolerant like you, mm-hmm. but I still do dangerous stuff. You have to stuff. put my business out there, but I feel you. <laughs> you put it out there, Zell. I mean, we weren't talking about it this show. Well, we're talking about it now. Hey. So, I tried to... <laughs> <laughs> And I instantly, like, my stomach was, like, bubbling past, like, mm-hmm. bubble, bubble. It was, mm-hmm. like, volcano. Mm-hmm. Look, I'm serious. And I was sick for, like, two, three days behind it. And I'm like, it had Those to be something. But then that's when I learned about like when you go into um like seven eleven and places with those dispenser pop things. And I caught a person literally taking the whole things down and had them soaking in the bucket. And I asked the young lady, I said, that's how you're supposed to properly clean a machine? She said, yeah. And she showed me the inside of it. Oh, yeah. Where that stuff was good. Now she said, mildew build all up in there Wait, so and she said the cheese dispensers, the pops, all those dispensers machines. So Catch it up. makes you and I get what you're talking about when it comes to eating off an ice cream truck. But the sister that this man's talking about, she built her own ice cream truck, and she's very, she's very clean with this ice cream that's, truck. That's, so, that's and she's a sister. That's my only point. Yeah. If you can't see into the ice cream truck and yeah. see how, how clean it is, you know that little bitty box that you be like, oh and no, your arms stick out. oh no, listen, when I'm tall. Hell, no, yeah. I feel you. Look, I'm tall. You feel me? I can see in there. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? I see that it ain't nothing but a dark box. Mm. And it's another person sitting on top of a bucket turned over. Yes. <laughs> Y'all look Listen. sweaty. Sweet. Y'all got arm hair. I'm straight no, on all that. It's a, it's a white, like, no, it was a white van that had a hole cut on the side oh, of it. Dog. <laughs> the woman, the, the, the woman that we, the woman that rocked with us it. last year, uh, that we're gonna be supporting again this summer, hopefully. Um, you know, she keep herself together. Yeah, you feel does. me? She a fly little sister, so she had a fly truck. You know, and her ice cream truck is white inside. And out. That's yeah. a, that's and her window was. is so Keep big. She's a little, she's a, a little itty short, itty late, but she literally can walk out her window and her door. Like uh, when you uh, say physically can look into a person's ice cream what truck. It? It, H2 Ocean. Shout out to uh, Big Chocolate H2 Ocean. That's what you didn't know that's her whole name? No, I did not know that. Big Chocolate H2 Ocean. And she little bitty. That's what's up. I she love this it. Let's say mama. I love her. I love her. Make she pulled up happen. on us a couple of times last summer. Food business is the way to go. One of my guys. Mm-hmm. I I uh, used to pull up into Easter Market on the mm-hmm. Sunday during uh, uh, tailgating, mm-hmm. and I got pulled over by right there. Why he doing that? Can we see what you got over there? Yeah, because we Why got like ten talking? minutes left. Why he talking? I'm, can you go do that pull or some of that? We just want to show people on the Sorry, camera. From, okay. Yeah. Okay, we listen. So the lady <laughs> lady uh, uh, from Easter Market Authority, 
walked up in my truck and she was like, wow, this is one of the cleanest trucks I've ever been on. Okay. So mm-hmm. I, I always took pride in that. You got to. I had countertops. I had three freezers, three deep I freezers. I love it. So what kind of vehicle was this that you had for your ice cream truck? Was it a... Like a re- repurposed like UPS truck or, yeah, or like, it, it was it was big as a UPS truck. Okay, mm-hmm. okay, okay. Like a big bread oh, truck. Yeah. It was a, yeah. a Chevy. Uh, I forget the name. Yeah, of room. How long ago yeah, did you have this? Because you was like, it sounded like it did okay, but of course we move on. You to did other say things, had. You know what yeah. what I had right. Yeah. Um, after after a year, mm-hmm. maybe two years, I, I I started doing the calculations. You know mm-hmm. how much money I was making. Um, <laughs> My overhead, gas winter months versus, versus summer months. Yeah, everything, mm-hmm. you know. And I decided it wasn't enough money in it for me. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. You know, I, mm-hmm. I broke it down to how much money I was making an hour. Gotcha. And when I got to doing that, um, I was like, uh, hmm. it definitely, a lot of the things we do, and this is speaking to people who want to start their businesses, mm-hmm. a lot of things we do, and not saying this is what you did, but it just sparks this conversation. We'll put everything into our investment and then need our investment to take care of everything. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And that adds pressure. That adds stress. No way was this sandwich shop supposed to turn a revenue that fast. You feel me? But you done put everything in it, and now you got bills that need to be paid, not just at the sandwich shop, but at home. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, well, this ain't doing it. What I've seen is that when you're able to say, and I also got this going on. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But but like you said, when it comes to certain things, like, well, is it worth even hiring somebody else to do it? Because if my time is more valuable than this, then I got to move on. That's why I say we grow, we move on. And obviously, his brain is working well beyond an ice cream truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was working midnights, mm-hmm. and then I would do the ice cream truck during the day and on weekends. Oh, well, eventually, your oh, attitude man. was going to fuck that up. How was he supposed to stay cheery right. coming right. off Thursday you. selling ice cream? Ooh, well, if, if you... If you know me, mm-hmm. you know you know I'm one of the most uh, uh, laid back people you probably ever meet, right? It smells. You smell so it smells. That's, Listen, that's good stuff, right there. Oh, I wanted to show y'all, it but smells. I can't. Can we see this here? Oh, yes. But um, I would sell out. Mm. I would I would go to events. Mm. Uh, okay. You know, uh, uh, football football. Uh, uh, games uh, okay and i would sell out mm. still it still wasn't wouldn't be worth it i i didn't i wasn't making enough money for me mm-hmm. and well it, i know you probably had good products on your you didn't go cheap on your products that you were no, selling I, no my, my, my hot you dogs a, my hot dogs uh came from sam's club see those, i would agree say i know you were going to nice big, those big beef, beef hot dogs i know what you're talking about can't sell that for the dollar no I, I was selling those for like uh even if you sold them for a dollar, you would still make a profit. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I was selling them for like a dollar fifty because mm-hmm. they're bigger than any of the mm-hmm. hot dogs. Regular hot dogs. You know, yeah. Two two dollars, two fifty. Right. I may be able to move them. I may not. Now, how long did you do the, the ice cream truck? Uh, like two years. Okay. Two okay. years, and then you know I sat down and and really did the math. How much? And took, that was here. Or did you have that somewhere else? No, in in no, Detroit. Detroit. Okay. Yeah. I, and I was going all over the place, um, mm-hmm. all over uh, East Side Detroit, um, Harper Woods. I got pulled over. Mm-hmm. I got pulled over in Harper Woods. I tell them why you did. Cause of course you I, did. I had a Karen. I had a Karen. She had her ice cream truck. Oh. Um, and my my ice cream truck like blew hers out of the way. Of course. So when the cops pulled me over, you know. I had the uh, paperwork to say I can operate in Wayne County. And in Harper Woods is in Wayne County. Mm -hmm. But I didn't have a a specific paperwork for Harper Woods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and the cop was, you know, he wasn't an asshole about it. He was cool about it. He was cool about it. He was like, look, man, I do not like her. (laughs) (laughs) He said, I wish you had. The, the right paper right to get rid of her and tell her get the heck on right mm, mm, mm. Told we, ex- we, we experienced something like that we had the lady we were talking about the ice cream truck we were on Belle Isle oh yeah the Belle Isle yeah. we're over there by the big park in the middle yeah now you know they have those trucks like the cinnamon bun truck and things of that nature over there in the corner but we were down you know the strip a little bit more she pulled up instantly people were walking away from this lady's ice cream truck coming over here to baby girl's ice cream truck mm-hmm the line was long. The line began to like form off the way to the park. 
Yeah, Before dog, we knew it, this dog. guy in a, a truck, pickup truck, come pulling up, talking about he was the park ranger, and you, she had to have a Bell Isle permit, and oh, her man, paperwork yeah. was legit. And she but, had it. But it was the park permit, like you were saying, yeah. that she did not have. Oh, yes, may I have one of those, please, as well. So we are eating. Thank you. We are eating. I can't do nothing Some delicious myself. food. I did. Well, whatever. Can't do nothing by myself. This is delicious. Kind of Talk about it. What, what we got going on? Here? Short grain brown uh, rice. Quinoa mm. and brown rice in there. It's the, the tomato base, uh, vegetarian gumbo. Mm, mm, uh, mm. It's a rye flour roux made with olive oil. I like this. The little. It's got like a little spicy to it. Yeah, it's get, not as get, hot get, as it get, should be. Got a little kick to it. You right. Know, it don't make you want to. It don't make you want this to be in one bowl. It don't mm. stick with you. Yeah, it ain't gonna, that type yeah. of spice. Oh, I'm definitely taking something with me. Yeah, so that big old pot you got over there. Oh, it's not that much in there. I just brought. He said four people, so that's what I did. Oh, that's what he did. Well, yeah, it's a big old pot, but it's just like I'm. I'm. That is so delicious. How can those who are you want to tuning in with us? How can they get a hold of you for they can you can they can, you can cater their next season? Oh yeah, definitely hit me up uh, on Instagram, the Vegan Gumbo Guy. That's one word, and on Buddha Foods across the board, uh, Facebook, BuddhaFoods.com. That's Buddha, B U D D A H Foods. Okay. Dot com. Uh, and if you with the email gang, Buddha at BuddhaFoods.com. You know, hit me up. Uh, mm. I'd rather people email me, mm-hmm. uh, or you know, you can DM too. Loans is something that you can type out because uh, uh, I took all my, I took my number off my business card, so mm. people was calling me every that day. That crazy <laughs> mess. It was nuts. So here's the thing, y'all gotta understand that if you have a an event and you catering, because we we had a couple events we had to cater last year, personal mm-hmm. events. Mm-hmm. Um, you can mix it up. Like you can have the stuff you always have, and then you can send for this pot. You know what I'm saying? That's what I like to do. Like, that's king and shit. We got all these different food vendors. I, I talk to get food from this person, get food from that person. Yeah. And have a nice spread. You that's know what I'm saying? That's how people are today. At this point, today. if you ain't got one vegan friend in your group, you, but I'm you be, slipping socially anyway. You I don't know think what I'm if you told someone that this was vegan, they wouldn't believe it. They wouldn't, they they wouldn't, they wouldn't like, even you know. know. Why do you have to tell them anyway? That I've eaten I, I that, wouldn't. That, 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 didn't like you know if you hadn't told me it was vegan, I wouldn't believe it was vegan. You know, I wouldn't right? tell them. It actually tastes like some dope ass like beef pot pot broth. Yeah, almost yeah. is what it's like. It'll taste it real good. Ain't no beef meat in it. Listen, you gotta. You I'm know, definitely gonna give my son this cater tonight. To that crowd. And when it's done, I'm gonna say, guess what? Wasn't no meat in there. It tastes meatish. I, it tastes like some meat is in here. Some of, some of my biggest birthday parties. Oh yeah. When I have a when I have a birthday party, some I, of them, I, I, I should be banging. I shut down the block. Okay. And I have so much food, and I always have. So you're them. a summer baby, cancer. He does the gumbo supreme. That's with the shrimp, scallops, chicken. Mm. I, I would have sausage. I would have him make me make me a pot of gumbo. Okay, right. And then go along with everything then. else I, mm. I got going. Okay, on. okay. It'd be and, wow, yeah. And uh, you gotta it's, have it's a, a variety like. Well, we said. definitely hope that. Go really go home get an invite for that, right? June nineteenth. Yes, we want to hear. <laughs> Whatever y'all do with this food, this is mm-hmm. delicious. This is so delicious. It's everything, my whole mouth tastes good. Mm-hmm. But look, a good June map 19th, behind this would be delicious. Too. June nineteenth, mm-hmm. we want y'all to be out there to help us create that balance and make sure that you know, for everybody that's enjoying the ribs, is something else. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Out there for them. That too. part, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm lost on that. I still, I, I actually think the world is vegetarian from my point of view. So when I be seeing events and people be having meat, I'm like, okay, that's, y'all. That nigga still eat meat. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I agree with you because as much as I ate meat, when people, when somebody said one day, uh, my my favorite, it was the girl on TV, New York. Mm-hmm. Her favorite, her favorite seasoning mm-hmm. was ranch dressing. <laughs> and a man said, if you put ranch dressing on anything, she'll eat it. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's the dressing she's chasing. It turns out it's the A1 sauce that I liked. Mm-hmm. You feel me? If you fry up that mushroom. And put the onions and all that stuff on there and put A1 sauce on it, I'm going to be just fine eating that. You give me you know my paprika, my garlic powder, my parsley, yeah. my oregano. Cook it like a steak you and I'm going to eat it like a steak. Man. You know what I'm saying? And so I, it, it was the sauce and the seasonings. Mm-hmm. This tastes like every other thing we've ever eaten yeah. that would have beef chunks in it. Man. You know what I'm saying? Those mm. chunks. I am so Those happy. chunks you eating mm-hmm. that taste like meat. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, if you, I don't know if y'all got any of that <coughs> sausage in there. <coughs> Oh. The what? The field roast. 
uh, sausage. I buy those. Those supposedly made with uh, root vegetables. Yeah. Oh, I was like, yeah. I was a real. Remember, I was like, I was a real. Yeah. So see, those I'm are pretty decent. I'm, I'm on my way. Because, see, I'm screamish when it comes to meat. Like, if it's not cooked, if I see bangs in it, I Is can't that lentils eat it. in here? Lentils. Mm-hmm. Ain't it? Mm, no, I don't think you so. You sure? No. That's I thought that was. It's quinoa. Yeah. It's yeah. red quinoa, okay. too. So. Mm-hmm. I seen yeah. the red quinoa, yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Man. Thank you, my brother, for blessing this our belly. This is some winter food right here. Yeah, Man. definitely. I'm here. I'm trying. But I will eat this in the summer too. Man, you can pour that over everything too. Yeah, this will be good on top of spaghetti. Like you could just pour That's this. What I if you like a meat eater, beef, pie pies, if you a meat eater, eater you could pour this on top of food. I would make a pie pie with it. Hey, you can pour that over a beef pie pie. Have chicken gumbo. Hey, how about potatoes? you can pour that over catfish and rice? Yes. Make you make you a baked potato and pour this on it. Pour that on it. We pour that over everything. This Broccoli, a topping. cauliflower. This is a topping. Yeah. Pasta. You, you can Damn. put that shit on anything. Yeah. I love the way you put that. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's that Tell commercial with the little white thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can put that shit on everything. All right. So how much is a pot of that? Yeah. For a full 11 quart kettle right there, that's 150. Mm-hmm. You get a full pan of rice with it. You also get a pan of vegan cornbread, too. There we go. Hey, it's gonna bring you. A it's gonna of, feed like maybe forty people. For one, even if you buy it to retail, a lot of people used to buy it and retail it at mm-hmm. different spots in the city. You know, mm-hmm. we was at Ghost Movies at one point. We were at uh, Fresh One Hundred One. Mm-hmm. We was at uh, Life in the Cup on the East Side. Okay, we had a couple spots and they was banging. They was wow. like, I was cooking like. How much is that per person? Four, That's good money. Forty people for one hundred fifty dollars. How much would you pay That's for that money. bowl? Yeah, that goes for like yeah, it was five, good. I paid five dollars for it. Or, yeah, he ain't feel mad enough though. Yeah. It was for. <laughs> I gave you like a two dollars sample. You can you can actually will you win? Depending on where you at, you like can, can actually go ten dollars. You want three dollars and seventy five cent a bowl? Yeah. Man, say that. It's three dollars and seventy five cent a bowl. Okay, yeah. one fifty divided by math. forty. You did the math. But I if you it. do, oh straight up. Oh, so you didn't fed everybody for three dollars seventy five cents. That's, a good, that's yeah. a good catering. That's good catering. You can charge six dollars, six seven dollars for a, if you reach. Oh yeah, he's about to retail. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah. when people walk up, I, sometimes I'm selling for eight dollars. It's gone. Depending on where I'm at. I was on that point and put my finger in that bedroom. I saw that. I Man. seen it coming too. Yeah, like we ain't at the house. All right. On camera. But we wrapping it up. Go real or go home. I got to get moving ASAP. Um, <laughs> listen, um, what was, what was is the past. He had an ice cream truck. Right. Right. He moved on from that. He mm-hmm. did the math. Mm-hmm. And that was, uh, that was, uh, that was money for somebody who didn't need so much. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like what I said, going on. Is, I can't do it with this. What is, is his brother's walking through looking for his building. Oh, yeah. Damn. The Jeez. bird tastes good. Hopefully and I was bad for licking the bowl. He said the burp tastes good. The burp was natural. You was about to dig your finger in that That juice. was natural, too. That was greedy. Well, Listen, he got the only in Detroit sweater on. We, uh, I had my Kong comedy shirt on. Yeah. I love it. I Shout love out it. to uh, my, my sponsor. But we, we want y'all to be there. But this is what we want you to think about, right? That parade is also a thing, right? So if you're thinking about being a vendor or a sponsor... And it's just going to everybody. But if you think about being a vendor or a sponsor for Juneteenth, then think about being in that parade, right? Mm-hmm. Think about driving in that parade or walking with a banner. We want the Juneteenth parade, which is something else that we created. This is our sixth year doing it. But our goal is for that to be as big as the Macy's Day parade. That's right. But they not going to help us with it. You feel me? We literally got to do it ourselves. And so we, we need y'all to do it. What yes, we find neighborhood people with nice cars. So far, that's our floats. Yep. You feel me? But we just got into... Martin Luther King School, and we're hoping to be in Denby, and we'll get some kids and to help us to create And shout to the Corvette floats. Club. Yes, but last year we had the Corvette Club. They came out in a major way. Mm-hmm. This year I'm hoping I can get trucks. I would like to get like an SUV club out there. I don't know one yet. Mm-hmm. But if anybody knows a truck club, a Chevy club, we yeah. want to get some trucks hey, out I heard, there this I see year. y'all Jeep girls out there. Tap in. Oh, yeah. We did have a Wrang- the Wranglers or something. Wranglers, yeah, yeah, they came through for one year. They Every did. year we have something mm-hmm. interesting. But now that Juneteenth is all over the place, you know, you got people... We got them because we was in a community, but now you got, oh, my niece is throwing one. I got to take my club there. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Definitely. So we're prepared. Our, our our parade is over early. We get up 9 in the morning, do the parade. Now you can slide off and do whatever other appearances you have to do. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. But you let's, can stand let's, out in the cold for the Thanksgiving Day parade. Yeah, and yeah. Parade. And we want them to know that the parade, we're trying to find unity in this. 
the parade is something we can all be a part of and then break up and go to our respective celebrations. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But what we can't do is try to figure out how to make one high school band do nine parades in a day. Yeah. You feel me? Because we won't work together. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's starting to happen. He's going to start charging us now. You feel me? And now we, because we won't unify, we didn't create a demand for a person who was doing something for free. Mm-hmm. But now it's like, well, if nine different groups want me, well, give me $2,500 then. <laughs> My band needs stuff. He ain't, he not even wrong for it. You know what I'm saying? But if y'all going to try to pull us this way, that way, now I got to get somebody that's got to make this work. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But if we were to all come together, pick a street, right? right? Put it on that main street. I'm voting for Woodward. These are things that we were keeping to ourselves. We don't have time for that now. You feel me? We want the parade to be on Woodward. If you want to be in the parade, if you want to help with the parade, let us know. You want to stretch that out and do something for us, by us. Fubu is very much alive. <laughs> Shout out to Buddha Food. Shout out to Dope Beats and Eats. You Peace. feel me? We appreciate y'all for coming. Thank you for the knowledge. Next time you come out, some trivia for your ass. See how slick you is. <laughs> I, I, ain't, I don't even got enough knowledge of myself to ask him no offhand questions. I wasn't even ready. Because nah. I was like, wait, then I'm going to have to Google it make sure he was the right answer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to be ready. I definitely appreciate y'all for coming, for sharing your craft with us again. You're welcome. Thank you definitely. so much. For feet in my belly. That was so yes. delicious. And like I said, now this is something I eat, so it's easier for me to push this. You know what I'm saying? Quite honestly, I did not do very well pushing our good brother over there at Golden Wings this last year because I don't eat chicken. Yeah. Right? And the good thing is, is like, if, if I can't get other people to buy it, at least I can. You feel mm-hmm. me? So we look forward to supporting Buddha Foods and the Kale Queen. You know what I'm saying? So... Thank y'all for coming, man. Give give your contacts one more time, and we out of here. Yeah, once again, you can follow me on the gram at the vegan gumbo guy. That's one word. Facebook Buddha Foods. You can email me at Buddha Buddha at BuddhaFoods dot com. And uh, Marquise, what are you? Uh, I'm on Instagram. The ground. You low key with the social. Y'all media. can't ask him for nothing. Anybody that's trying to get what he got, you going to jail. You know what I'm saying? Don't be talking about how can I get them tanks? How can I get? <laughs> how can I get cryogenically frozen? What are you gonna do with the night? What's the, how the nitrogen for the lows? For the lows. <laughs> ain't no nitrogen for the lows. No, you ain't feel no me? No, ain't, y'all not even <laughs> ready. Like man, we found full. Broke up niggas, just frozen, frozen. Just no R. little ice cube niggas. You know what I'm Lost saying? They chili Willy. I love it. We put them in some shot glasses. And <laughs> Thank yeah. y'all for tuning in to Go Real or Go Home. Go I'm Real or go, go Home. I'm at Down River Bar and Grill tonight. It's about to be Kong Comedy. Y'all know yes. how we do, man. They pay me to talk shit. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for being here. Thanks to Mark DeAndre. Seven Mile Radio. Potathon coming. Jenny Tink is coming. Seven we appreciate radio. y'all. Seven Mile Radio. <laughs> Warning. You are now tuned in to Seven Mile Radio.